One thing I typically suggest is to not have windows behind you when you're working on your webcam because the brightness of the window either makes it so that you're really dark or even if you adjust your camera so that you're not really dark, you end up with a really bright white in the windows. Today is not even that bright here in Portland, Oregon. I'm Brighton West, a virtual videographer, and in this video, I'm gonna show you this solution that I came up with so the windows aren't blown out in my webcam videos. So what I found is something called Easy Snap. These are shades that typically go on the outside of your windows. They can go on your RV windows. They can go on your house windows, your boat windows. But the idea is that you put a screen on the outside and you snap it in place and you can remove it. And that's the beauty of it is, is the removability and also how well it stays on. So I thought, well, I'm on the second floor. I can't really put something on the outside of my window and remove it very easily. But what I found is these can actually go on the inside too. So let me show how I did it. So I started by measuring my window and figuring out what size mesh I needed to buy from their website. They come in kits with all different sizes of mesh and then you cut it down to fit your window. So once you've cut it to fit your window, you then stick these little plastic fasteners to the corners of your window. And these fasteners also come in uh, a number of different types here you can see on their website. And then in the mesh, you put in these little barbs and these go together like that. And then on the outside of the barb is another piece of plastic. So what happens is this always stays on your window and then you can take this part and pull it on and off. So let me show you how that works. So you can see here, they're, they're pretty tight going on. Uh, so you'll have to use a lot of force to get them on. And uh, you'll put them in the corners. And one thing that I noted is that for the top uh, window here with the, the where the bottom window slides by, I actually don't even connect it. Um, I leave these loose. So you can already see here the difference between the top and the bottom window. Let me put the bottom one on too. Now the company does suggest more than just the corners, but because this is inside, I figured I didn't need something that could withstand the wind. And by leaving the, uh, the bottom corners undone, I can always just pull that back and open the window uh, for when I'm not filming and I just need a little bit more air in my office. Now for removing them, they give you this, this special tool as part of the packet. So let me show you how they are removed. So you actually go behind the screen and just slide this back here and twist it and it pops right off. So that way these remain on the screen so they're always there so it's really easy to put them back on because they're in the exact right place and uh, it's really easy to pull them off just with a twist of your wrist. Now make sure you don't go on the front side of the screen and pop off this round part because then you'll have to put it back together. So I found that this makes a huge difference in my videos to not have that blown out back there. I found that it was actually impacting the resolution of my videos. So ha not having that bright light in the background has been wonderful and I get to choose. So on a slightly cloudy day, then I take that off the window. Otherwise it makes the windows too dark. And on a bright sunny day, I put it back on the window to make the windows a little darker, but you can still see through it. So you can still see the tree on the other side. I bought the three foot kit, which I think is the smallest kit that they will sell. And it comes with a lot of these little sticky parts and the two parts that go around the screen. So um, you'll never run out of those. You can put a lot more of them on than you need. Like I said, this is also meant to work like on an RV that's driving down the freeway at 70 miles an hour. Um, these will really hold well. And it comes with a, a white pencil so you can transfer the measurements from your window onto the screen. And then you can cut that. I used a, uh, a box cutter, but they actually have a blade that's built in here that you can use to cut it to the custom size of your window. Now, this is something you can only buy through their website, and you'll find a link to that down in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, I have got lots more videos on looking wonderful on camera. You can find those videos over here.